So we're given a company's marginal cost function and we're told what the fixed costs are. We want to somehow retrieve the cost function. So solution. Keep in mind that the marginal cost is the derivative of the cost function. So to get back the cost function, all we have to do is integrate the marginal cost. So the cost function, c of x, it's the antiderivative of the marginal cost. So 20x to the 3 halves minus 15x to the 2 thirds plus 1 dx. And now we'll just carefully integrate each piece using the power rule. So the 20, it hangs out, it's a constant. And then we have to add 1 to 3 halves. So it's really 3 halves plus 2 halves. So we get x to the 5 halves. Then we're supposed to divide by 5 halves. Instead of dividing by 5 halves, let's multiply by the reciprocal, 2 fifths. Likewise here, the 15 hangs out. And we have x. Now we're adding 1. So 2 thirds plus 3 thirds is 5 thirds. Then we're dividing by 5 thirds, but that's the same as multiplying by 3 fifths. And then the antiderivative of 1 is just x. And then we still have our constant c. So our cost function so far is equal to, well, let's see, 5 goes into 20 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8. So we get 8x to the 5 halves. 5 goes into 15 3 times, and 3 times 3 is 9, so we get 9x to the 5 thirds plus x plus our constant. Now we have to get rid of the constant. We are told that fixed costs are $1,000. So the C is going to be 1000 and here is why. The cost to produce zero items, well, if you're not producing anything, the only thing that's going to cost you is the fixed costs. So the cost of producing zero items is 1,000. So if you plug in zero here, you get this. And this is the cost of producing zero items. So this is just the fixed cost. So all of this goes away because it's zero. So you just get C equals 1,000. So the final answer is your cost function is equal to 8x to the 5 halves minus 9x to the 5 thirds plus x plus the fixed cost of $1,000. And that is the final answer. I hope this video helps.